I'd like to note that I know that some people might say or think that I am becoming a bit um, insensitive for the season now that there's pandemic because of my hoarding or my splurging some of them might say that it's insensitive to have this but I'd also like to say that yes I respect your your feelings or your opinions about me but Hi guys, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Today I won't be showing my face. I don't feel like showing myself today. So lucky are those who do not want to see me. <laughs> but I'm good. I'm fine. And today here in the Philippines, we are now on our 21st week of the quarantine. And I hope you guys are all safe, sound, and healthy at your own homes. Today we are going to be having an unboxing video, an art haul video. And these two boxes are from two different shops. But before we begin, I'd like to note that yes, I know that most of you still remember my promise few months ago that I won't be having again another art haul this year because last March I just left my job so I'm focusing on my art so totally my income is dependent in this passion that I have right now and everything is good but I'd like to go against what I said since we are gonna be focusing now in my art career or passion I think I'll be needing more materials because, you know, YouTube is also part of my passion and my career right now. And for this channel, I'd be needing more materials to review, more materials to uh, use for my demonstrations and also for my uh, projects, for my commission painting. So, justified. <laughs> Please allow me to have another art haul. So, this first box, this smaller box is from my purchase at Jackson's Art in UK and this other box is my purchase at Simi Art Shop from Shopee Philippines. Simi Art is I think from China. So let's begin with the Jackson's Art. The box of the Jackson's Art purchase is quite small but the contents are not cheap. The total amount of the products inside is 200 US dollars or 10,000 Philippine pesos or less. Just a tip for the Filipino buyers, if you're buying from abroad, make sure that the cost is not more than 10,000 Philippine pesos or 200 US dollars. Because if you exceed 10,000, you'd be paying the tax at the customs. And for, um, for the amount of 10,000 or 11,000, you'd be paying around 2,500 Philippine pesos uh, worth of taxes. So you might wanna split your, you know, your purchases if you want to buy more and for this box the shipping via DHL costs 50 US dollar something or 2600 Philippine pesos so yeah it's not a cheap purchase but I really need all of these brands and tubes because I need them for my commission paintings now so anyway let's not make it any longer let's do the unboxing Let's be careful not to hurt the contents. So here are the boxes. I think they are safe here because they are put in a box. But some tubes are not in boxes. And they have these foams. And here's my receipt. So here you'll see the total is 12,026.27 Philippine pesos, so there's no tax. And here's the breakdown. So here, the shipping fee is 2,643. So if you subtract the 12,000 with 2,600, you will see that the total is almost 10,000 or 9,000 Philippine pesos because I limited myself to uh, only that amount to make sure that I won't be taxed by the customs. So let's begin with these three tubes. These are Schmincke tubes and the price vary depending on color let's search for the other colors
Okay, so here are the Schmincke tubes. I got Payne's Gray Bluish, um, Viridian, Pure Yellow, French Ultramarine, Mars Brown, Indian Red, Vermilion, Potter's Pink, and this is Transparent Ochre, Sap Green, Magenta, and Spinel Brown. And I also have here a half pan of my Mary Blue. We'll discuss that later. And I'm actually completing a set. I'm building a set right now of uh, Schminka. And I have here with me some tubes. And these are from here in the Philippines from Art Nebula and also some from fully booked in BGC because they also sell troops of Schminka but of course the price there are almost double so it's cheaper if you buy them in Europe because they're from Europe so as of now I have 18 colors of Schminka and I'm planning to make um, 24 color set but I've also seen some new colors from Schminka, the granulating colors, and now I'm again tempted to get those. But anyway, let's go with our second brand. So we have here a half pan of My Mary Blue. I actually want to get the tube, but they don't have any stocks. And it's interesting that My Mary Blue has already revised their line, their color range. They now have 90 colors, all single pigment. And it's also interesting because I was able to get the old set of Mimer Blue and the formula were different here so it's also good to compare and now let's see the other colors that I got from Mimer Blue so the colors that I got are neutral tint Neutral tint is also present in the old set and here it's now single pigment. They use here Where's the pigment code? PBK26 and That sounds new to me and in the old set they have I think two or three pigments for neutral tint So it's interesting to compare the two colors And also I have Puzuli Earth did I uh, read that correctly? And raw umber. I also have here Naples yellow medium. Ultramarine blue which uses PV15. And my favorite violet at the moment. Uh, the PV16. They're calling it as manganese violet. And also this is I think the most interesting and the most controversial color in the changed line of my Mary blue because this is sap green but they used PG17 and we all know PG17 is chromium green oxide and in their old version the sap green is made out of two pigments I think so it's also good to compare these two different colors with the same name and lastly we have sepia which is very interesting because it uses PY164 so PY164 is obviously a yellow pigment but it's dark so that's really interesting it's really new to me I've not researched about this yet but yeah and the last brand here is of course uh, Daniel Smith I know Jackson's art is not the best place to buy Daniel Smith but I can't have another purchase in the US because of you know uh, limitations to shipping so I just purchased some colors that are really essential in my <laughs> in my palette so these are the following I got French ultramarine cobalt teal blue and my ever favorite moon glow that's why I have two obviously and yes there are sellers here in the Philippines like this art room and uh, some fully booked branches and also the oil paint store and the craft carrot but as of now they already have run out of stock on these colors so uh, I had to purchase somewhere else and here we are so here are our Jackson's art purchases this is not our first time to purchase from this shop and I think I might be having again another purchase next month 
or yeah maybe this August because I'm really interested in the granulating colors of Schminka because we all know Schminka's colors are very smooth and now they are trying to uh, challenge themselves by you know being more versatile and exciting in their line so I'm also excited about that and now let's proceed to our second box which is from simiart.ph account at Shopee Philippines which is from China and this is not new to me also because earlier I have purchased them these fan superior these potentate accordion watercolor pad and of course the ever hit <laughs> simi art watercolors this is the 50 color set which is i think already sold out today but i know they are gonna restock soon so just follow their accounts anyway this is not sponsored but simi art was generous enough to give me a gift voucher so i have a huge discount in this purchase which i'm very thankful for by the way that gift is for putting the link in my youtube description on the, the review of the simiart.ph so simiart thank you for the voucher and uh, i really enjoyed reviewing your products and i really think it is very good for beginners and for those who are trying out watercolors Anyway, I'll be putting at the description box all the links where you can purchase all the materials that we have here today. So, let's do the unboxing. So, let's begin with this tin palette. And this is an ordinary tin palette. It can fit. 12 to 14 half pans and it has a ring at the back but what's special about this tin palette is that it has three wells because for this size we usually have only two wells so that's pretty cool and this costs only 145 philippine pesos or roughly three us dollars next item is our handbook potentate handbook it's 24 sheets 300 grams 90 by 140 I believe this is watercolor paper it should be <laughs> um, this is 199 Philippine pesos or four US dollars and it's very cheap and very handy next we have the watercolor postcard from Dore art and this is also 300 grams 24 sheets 10.5 by 15 cm so that's 4 by 6 inches 25% what I think this is 25% cotton it is housed in this aluminum container and it costs 248 Philippine pesos or roughly 5 US dollars. Our next purchase is this semi-dry watercolor set. This is a 24 color set and the pans are very comparable to Gansai Tambi. So it's really exciting. And I can't open it yet because we are going to be reviewing this separately. By the way, this set is 623 Philippine pesos or roughly 13 US dollars. And lastly, we have the solid uh, watercolors. But they gave me half pans separately. And uh, this tin. Mm. The tin container is also very interesting because usually for this size we have only four wells but this one has five. So a usual tin looks like this. It has four wells. So this has six. See the difference? So here we have 24 half pans of Simi Art. And I just hope that there are no duplicates in this set. We are gonna know once we make our review of this set. So that's cool. We are gonna be reviewing this set separately. And I hope. You can uh, wait for that. So let me know in the comment section which one do you want me to review first? The semi-dry watercolors of Simi Art or the solid watercolors? 
So here are all the items in our art haul, unboxing, or hoarding video, whatever you call it. And by the way, I have placed these half pans in the tin set that the Simi Art provided. And I've also noticed that the black and the white look differently. The pants look bigger. Anyway, we are going to be reviewing this separately. But as of now, I think I'm going to review the semi-dry watercolor first because it's very interesting. But yeah, let me know in the comment section which one do you want me to review first. This one or this one or this one. But as of now, we cannot do the paper yet because I'm still unfortunately doing the setup for that. And also, um, I'd like to note that I know that some people might say or think that I am becoming a bit um, insensitive for the season now that there's pandemic because of my hoarding or my splurging some of them might say that it's insensitive to have this but I'd also like to say that yes I respect your your feelings or your opinions about me but also please respect mine because I'm doing this as part of my career and my passion and this is my reality I love collecting paints. For me, this is therapy. And I believe through my channel, through my reviews, through my opinions, through my researches, I'm able to help other artists, other people who are, you know, looking for art materials that match their means and their needs. So I hope you also understand that and accept that. Because I believe I'm not hurting or harming anyone in this career or in this passion. Okay, so we're done. I think we're good. I think that's all for today. If you have any questions, just comment it below. I'll be happy to answer you as soon as I can. I know I have not replied yet to some of you, but just please be patient and understand that I'm having tons of comments and messages and emails uh, lately. Once I find time, I'll be able to respond and reply to each one of you. So. Um, again, thank you for all your uh, concerns and your questions and your trust. If you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Please also don't forget to like and share this video to show support to my channel. Again, thank you for watching and see you next week.